today we're going to be opening up and seeing what's inside the October Boxy Charm this month. I got mine the day before yesterday and I've already opened the box to make it easier. But you know, as always, it comes with our little pamphlet and this month it's called Alter Ego. I'm really excited about this month's box. So um, to start, we're going to go with this black bamboo charcoal peel off mask from Dermovia. I guess that's how you say it. And I'm not going to put this on right now, but it comes with these cute little lace masks, kind of like those rubberized nurse dingy masks. And then you get the actual mask, which is a black bamboo charcoal peel off mask. So uh, it looks like you put this on in an even layer all over the face and then you take the lace mask part that looks like this yeah it is it is a lot like the nurse jamie one so you're just gonna put it on your face i have all my base makeup on right now because i'm just gonna do an eye look with the pure eyeshadow palette that came in this month's box so you just put it on your face and then loop it over your ears so this is a nice look Love it, love it. I uh, cannot wait to play with that. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. We have Green Clean Makeup Meltaway Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. And I have been wanting to try this brand, so I'm super duper excited that this came in the box this month. And it looks like this. Oh, it smells super good. Like. Does it have green tea in it? That's what it kind of smells like. I don't know, but we'll take the makeup off at the end of it with this. I'll read the instructions and everything. You'll be proud. All right. And we got the It Superhero Mascara. I'm actually not going to be using this particular one because I'm going to leave it new and put it in my giveaway box down here because I have a sample still from my birthday at my Ulta birthday present, I think. It was it's practically brand new. I've only used it a couple times, but I super liked it when I did use it. But I'm going to put this in my giveaway box. Um, let's see. And the star of the show, in my opinion, is this gorgeous Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. I love the packaging of this. Like, the unicarton is super cute. Oh, look! It's on the inside, too. The pa packaging is really cute. I like the little masquerade mask. And it looks like this. So you have like face colors and then eyeshadows, which like I'll probably still use these as eyeshadows because you've got a blush and a highlight. And I really like these colors. Try to scoot it in here so you can see. All right, so it looks like this. Super pretty. And I don't see like a matte crease shade, so I'm just gonna go in when I start doing the eyeshadow with my Found Beauty palette, just to put it in a crease shade. Okay, so we've got that. And then last is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lip. I got Hawkind, Hawk, Hawkwind, Hawkwind, Hawkwind? I don't know. I was really wanting Bow and Arrow because I don't have, I actually don't have any of her liquid lips but that one was like a really pale nude and it looked pretty like this is the one that I got looks like this really pretty color for fall so um, I'm gonna be scooching you in just a little bit in just a second and we're gonna get started on a cute eye look hopefully it'll be cute and y'all check out this adorable shirt that I got at TJ Maxx it says whiny witch I'm in love with it it's like a sweatshirt it's kind of loose it's cropped too, but I just, I wore a black undershirt with it because I didn't want it to walk around in cropped pants and I have my Halloween pajamas on. So I'm going to scooch you in and I'm going to get started on my eye look. I'm such a professional, I accidentally left the tag on my shirt. So if you're wondering, it was $9.99. Pretty good deal. Okay. So to start off, I'm just going to pop a transition color in my crease really quick. Okay, now we're going to jump in to the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette. And I'm going to start with the brown shade right here, and it's called Sneak Peek. And I'm going to take a Morphe E36 brush and just pack this kind of into the um, lower crease in the outer edge, sort of that outer V area. Gonna 
blend out those edges and kind of that whole color area right there. I wanted it pretty smoked out on the edges. Kind of want a fluffier brush to help blend that out. Okay, now that the crease is kind of blended out pretty nice, I don't know what color I want to use. Hmm. I'm really drawn to this green color right here, but also like this purple. So I'm gonna get some concealer. I'm just gonna get some Tarte Shape Tape really quick and put it on the back of my hand like so. I'm just gonna kind of lighten up that little bit of that eyelid space. I'm just gonna dip a little flat synthetic brush in there. So what I want to do is take this green shade right here on just this Alamar Cosmetics Synthetic Flat Brush and I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus just to give it a more metallic appearance. I'm going to start just in this inner section here and just pack that on. Super nice. I'm really impressed by this shadow. It's really good. There's not a lot of fallout with this um, shadow. It's really nice. I like it. I haven't tried a lot from Pure Cosmetics, but I have a foundation from them I really like. And an eyebrow, eyebrow product I really like. I like this color. It's very green. Okay. So after that, I want to deepen up that outer edge. So I'm going to take a little bit more of this dark brown color and just really pack that on that outer area. We got a little bit of fallout going on. The way that that is looking. Okay, so I'm going to start on the lower lash line and I'm going to go back into this neutral brown shade that I put in my crease to begin with. I wish I had a black shade to really darken up those corners. I mean, I have this shade. I'm going to try to kind of darken it up out there with that. It's more of a dark shimmery gray. It's called 12 AM. I wanted to use that purple, but I was thinking about it. I don't know how well that would go with the lippy shade that I got. I really do want to put a little bit of that purple in that lower lash line. I just think it'll look really good. So I'm going to use this flat brush from that Alamar Com Cosmetics that we got in last month's BoxyCharm. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna need to spritz this a little bit. Alright, I kind of like how that turned out. A little bit dark and smoky. I love that green color. I'm gonna pop on some falsies and some eyeliner and I'll be right back. Okay, so we put on some eyeliner and some lashes. And I actually put a little bit of Pixie um, Purple Eyeliner in my lower lash line. I'll have everything tagged down in the description box. So now we can move right along. And I'm going to go into this pink blushy color with my blush brush. Okay. It's a little dusty, but it's such a pretty color. Ooh, that looks nice. I like 
that color a lot. really pretty okay let's see what else we got in here oh yeah we have the mascara and like I said I'm just gonna use my mini mascara but it's still the it superhero as you can see and I really like the wand of this it's really really nice and I used it like I said a couple times and I really enjoyed it I think you'll be able to see a lot better on my lower lash line because I put on falsies And then I'm gonna put on some highlight. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. Looks like this. It's kind of got a gold, pretty gold undertone to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this, rub it in there, and we're just gonna highlight. Like that and the final thing we're gonna use is the Kat Von D liquid lip I actually haven't been using a lot of liquid lips lately I've been more into bullet lipstick but I really like this color for fall this is definitely gonna be worn a lot this fall and that's the final look this eye is a little bit messed up. It took me a while to get that lash to stick because my eyes were watering so bad. You can even see it kind of coming down right here. But this is like the third time I've put on makeup today, so my eyes are like, we're done, sorry. I super like the lipstick. I think that's my very favorite part now looking at this. But the eyeshadow turned out really cute with the green and the purple, sort of Halloween-ish. So this month's box was awesome. So we've got the It Cosmetics Mascara that was worth $24. The Lace Peel Mask, which was $30. The Palette, which was $38. And the Liquid Lip, which was $20. And then the um, Makeup Remover Balm was $22. So I mean, well worth $21 for sure. Boxy Charm never disappoints. And um, this month's box was no exception. I really like it. So um, let me know what lip color you got down in the comments because um, I know Lolita was in there, which I have Lolita in a bullet. It's a craft. Lipstick. Yes. Oh, and it's one of my favorites. I mean, I wouldn't have minded having it in a liquid lip, but I really wanted bow and arrow. But I love the one that I got. Hawk Wind. Hawk Wind. I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't know what it's called. But um, yeah, let me know what you got down in, in the comment. If you got a different variation of the BoxyCharm this month, just let me know. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. I totally forgot I was going to take off my makeup using that balm. So I kind of want to see how this works. So let's see directions gently massage off the skin for eye makeup removal apply to closed eye rinse with warm water or wipe off with a damp washcloth so it looks like you can just rub this on your face to take off your makeup so we're gonna do that real quick I know I just put it on but for the video I'm just gonna go ahead and take my lashes off and then I think it said just a little bit gently massage with the skin It smells. I can't. I can't get over how good it smells. Where's my little mirror? I'll just use this one. Okay. So we're just gonna take this and put it on here, and it says to just gently massage. Ooh, God, that works really well. This is blowing my mind. I have been wanting to try pharmacy products. I'm so glad that this was in this month's box. 
I mean, look how good that took away that makeup. And I'm just barely like. <laughs> That's so awesome. And I mean, I'm just getting a little bit on my finger and it goes a long way. Yeah, that stuff is awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to try more products from them. There's like a honey something serum or something like that that they make that I see all the time and I really wanna get it and use it. All right, let's see how well it removes liquid lip. It's like melting it off like I'm not even kidding I got a lot of tea Oops. yeah it just like melts it off that's so cool I really like this so I'm just gonna take the rest of my makeup off and I'll be right back okay so all my makeup is off and it looks like the total of this month's box was 134 dollars for 21 dollars can't beat that so i loved this month's box let me know what you think down in the comments and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>